Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial on population. Um, this is the first lesson on population so we're going to look at some of the important concepts that you need to know for the Junior Certificate Examination um, for this chapter of population. So the first one we're going to look at is population explosion. And this is just the rapid growth of population in the 20th century. Every 10 seconds, the world's population is increasing by approximately 27 people. So the next thing we're going to look at is the population cycle, or what is probably better known as the demographic transition model. And this looks um, as a country's economy develops stage by stage. This model helps us to understand why population increases and eventually decreases. So this is what the demographic transition model looks like. And the more developed your economy gets, then the different stage it'll go into. So if, if the least developed economies are in stage one, and as they get more developed, they go into stage two, stage three, stage four, and stage five. And when they get to stage five, the, actually the population starts to decrease. And an example of this, of a country, would be Germany. But we'll speak more of this later on in a different tutorial. The next concept we're going to look at is birth rate, and the birth rate is the number of births per thousand people in any given year. The next concept we're going to look at is death rate, and death rate is the number of deaths per thousand people in any given year. The next two concepts you need to know is natural increase and natural decrease. A natural increase is when the number of people born is greater than the number of people that die in the same year. So i.e. births exceed deaths. And a natural decrease is when the number of people born in any given year is less than the number of people that die. So i.e. deaths exceed births. Another concept that's really important to know is population density. And this is the average number of people living in a square kilometre. So for example, Dublin would have a very high population density because the average number of people living in a square kilometre is very high. And the west of Ireland would have a very low population density. Another concept is population distribution. And co population distribution is how people are spread out or sometimes known as dispersed around an area. Life expectancy is the average age that people will live in a country. An example would be Ireland, and uh, Ireland's life expectancy at the moment is 76 years of age. One of probably the most important concepts of this chapter of population is population pyramids. And population pyramids show the age and sex, both male and female, make up of the population of that country. So you can have a population pyramid of Ireland, of England, of Australia, of Kenya, Jamaica, whatever country you want. And this is a really common question that will come up in a junior certificate examination. You might be asked to describe the population pyramid for a country, or you might have to, you might have to work out some simple maths um, using the population pyramid. And I'm going to show you a population pyramid in just one second. So it's the age and sex makeup of a population. That's what a population pyramid is. So I'm going to show you a population pyramid, and this is what a population pyramid looks like. Okay, so this is for the United States, and it was taken in 2010. You've got male, which is the blue, and you've got female, which is the pink. Along along the middle, um, you've got the ages. So that's zero to four years old. That's five to nine years old. Ten to fourteen years old. Fifteen to nineteen, and so on, all the way up to hundred plus. Along the bottom here, this is the percentage of the population. So from 0 to 4 years of age, for male, it has approximately, we will say, 10.5% of the population in the United States is between the age of 0 to 4. For female, between 0 to 4, it's about 10 if I wanted to say, if I was asking, it's a junior certificate examination, one of the questions was, can you give me the population percentage of males between 80 to 84? I would go up to my age, 80 to 84. 
I would go across and then I would bring this down and it would be approximately two and a half percent of the world of the United States population in 2010 from 80 to 84 was male. Now we will look at other questions later on on population pyramids, but there's a few things that you need to know. One of the, the com one of the most common questions you can get on the geography junior certificate examination when it's talking about population might be uh, you might be asked to give the percentage of people um, in the dependency ratio. So you need to know what the dependency ratio is first, okay? And it's the number of people who are working, so are active, uh, to support the number of people that are not working, so inactive. So the dependency ratio looks at two, two main groups, okay? The first group is from 0 to 15. So from 0 to 4, 5 to 9, and 10 to 14, they're all going to be included in the dependency ratio because when you get 15, you're considered an adult and that you'll be able to possibly work okay, in the population structure. So from 0 all the way to the 10 to 14 group, you are inactive. So you are going to be dependent. But that's not the only group that we will put into the dependency ratio when we're adding up the dependency ratio. We'll, all, we'll also say that the group from 65 to 69 upwards is an inactive group because people tend to retire and stop working when they get to 65 years of age. Okay, So we will say that this group here, 65 all the way to 100 plus, plus 0 to 15 is going to be our dependent uh, group. They're the inactive group who are not working. And everyone else from 15 all the way to 65, that group there is going to be our active group that are working and are actually supporting our inactive group. So like I said already, the dependency ratio is the number of people who are working, so active, to support the number of people who are not working, inactive. How do you find out who are active? Active is the groups from 15 all the way to 64, 65 there. And inactive is from 0 to 15, 0 all up to 15, and from 65 plus. So if I was asked to find out the percentage of people who are active, I would have to find out everyone from 15 all the way to 65. If I wanted to find out the people that are inactive, I'd have to find out from 0 to 15 and 65 uh, upwards. So I'd have to get those two groups and add them together to percentages. So that's it for the first tutorial on uh, population, the important concepts you need to know. If you liked our video, can you please comment uh, and give me some feedback. You can also get more of our videos on our website, examinvision.ie, or you can get our videos on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash examinvision. Uh, please subscribe um, and you can find all our latest information on our Twitter and Instagram.